Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is JD Recording and I'm Jimmy. I just wanted to kind of give you a quick studio tour and show you some of the things that I've got hooked up and uh, we'll go from there. Don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button so you can get all my new content. Welcome back, and uh, so I just kind of wanted to go over some of the equipment I've got in the studio. I'm um, running the Lexicon MX200. I'm also running a Zoom RFX2000, and I've got the Behringer Ultragraph Pro here that I've all got wired in, and a BBX Maxi. This is kind of an old one we used to use in the band, so I took it out and I've uh, been trying to figure that thing out, so we'll do a video on that one, I'm sure. And I've got a DBX... Uh, compressor limiter gate here that uh, I've been recently using and my DBX 286 which is currently not being used uh, I've got to send it in for service I've already got a bad channel in it um, and it's uh, about a year old so we might do a review on that as well uh, here's a picture of the 1824C that I've got set up on the desk with the my Mackie headphone amp and then we've got the Fader Port 8 here that I uh, just recently got and been playing with. And we'll probably do a product uh, overview on that as well. Uh, the 18, uh, excuse me, the Studio Live ARC-16C that I just recently got that I'm using for all my returns so they can go in stereo in these channels. I've got a DBX-386 uh, tube amp, uh, preamp. It's really nice, uh, makes things sound a lot more warm. Uh, I'll probably do a review on that one as well. And then the Focusrite Twin Track Pro, uh, I'm using for, in my mastering chain. And then uh, I wanted to show you a basic diagram of how I ever, have everything hooked up uh, from the computer, uh, obviously USB to the 1824C and the ARC16. Uh, and then everything's coming out of the 1824 and coming returning back into the ARC-16C. Uh, this was kind of a nightmare to set up and get working properly. Uh, I finally found a, a, a way to do it, and I'm going to make a video on that. That's going to be the next video on getting it the 1824C not sending full signals from everything and returning the signals into the AR-16 and also another video on how to set up everything so that Studio One can see all the channels from both the 1824C and the ARC-16C. Well, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll have some new content out very soon. Thank you.